In this video, I'll quickly show you how to download and install the free ebook software Calibre on a Windows computer. Just go ahead and search Calibre, it's spelled like this, and I'll include the link in the description of this video as well. If you're not familiar with Calibre, it's a free and open source uh, ebook library manager and also has a built in reader and an ebook editor, and you can even create uh, ebooks, you can convert ebooks from one format to another. So it's a really, really great tool. Go ahead and click on Downloads, and then select the appropriate icon for your system. If you're not sure what to do, I would recommend doing this uh, Windows 64-bit if you have a Windows computer. If you have an Apple computer, you'll, you'll use this Mac OS. I also have another video teaching how to install this on Linux if you're a Linux user. But for this video, we'll do the Windows version, so we'll left-click on this Windows with a 64 inside. And then we'll just do this top link here, Download Caliber 64-bit. We'll left click on this and it brings up this pop-up. We just click Save File. And depending on what uh, browser you're using, it'll either appear in the bottom left hand here, or maybe the bottom right hand, or the top right. I'm using Firefox, so I see this download. And it says it's going to take about one minute uh, remaining on my internet speed. It's 116 megabytes large. Uh, and this is just downloading by default to my downloads directory. Sometimes when you click download now, uh, when you click this download link, it'll pop up with a, and ask you where you want to save it. So you could save it to your desktop or to your downloads directory or anywhere really. But then this .msi file is what we're going to in use to install the software. So it's not the full program yet. We have to install it on our computer first. I'm going to pause the video until this is done downloading and then we'll resume in just a moment. This is just finishing up now. I also wanted to point out there are these alternate links. If this one doesn't work for you, here's other locations you can download from. This is FossHub, this is GitHub. It tells you in the bottom left-hand corner. And also, if you like Calibre, consider supporting uh, future development. You can, su can support here and donate uh, to help keeping this project alive. Okay, this is done downloading now. We can either left-click up here, or we can just navigate uh, in our uh, file explorer to that location it was downloaded. Mine's in my downloads directory and we can just click on it there, which will be right here. So I'm gonna click or double click on this depending on how your uh, system is set up. And that launches the installer. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, you can read through this if you want. This is the license um, terms and conditions. Uh, go ahead and click accept if you're satisfied with that and hit install. And then we'll just wait, it'll pop up and say, do you trust this program? Um, if you say no, it won't install. So go ahead and click yes if you want to install this. And that's it, the installation's done. If we, this box is checked, it'll launch as soon as we click Finish. And now we have this installed. The first time um, we open it up, it pops up, it comes up with this dialog, and it just asks us what language we want to be using, and it also asks us where we want our books to be installed, or our, our library. And so you can, go, you can change this if you want to, but I'm just gonna leave mine by default um, under my root directory, which will be right here in my folder. When I just click this PC, uh, it's going to be where all of these things are, like my music and documents and everything. I'm going to hit next, and you can choose what type of device you have. So and it, if you have multiple, you can always change this later. Maybe you have an Amazon Kindle, like you have the Paperwhite, or maybe you have just an, an Apple device, like an iPhone uh, or an iPad, or you have an Android phone. So you can set up, you can configure this for whatever type of device you have. If you can't find your device here, you can choose the closest thing, or you can just say generic. If you have a generic device that uses e-ink, uh, you can use that. If you have a generic smartphone that's not something on here, or something that's like a tablet or an iPad, um, you can do that. I'm just gonna set mine up for smartphone generic right now and hit next. Again, we can change this later. And then hit finish, and everything is done. It just takes a moment to load, and here we go. And then if we close out of this, we can always get back into it by just clicking this desktop icon that was created, or we can click on the start menu and get to it that way as well in the bottom left-hand corner. Go ahead and check out the next video, and we'll learn about how to get started with this interface and how to uh, bring books in and uh, convert books and read books. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.